Good morning, guys. Today is garden grooming our spring bloomers and getting it ready to to look neat and clean for all the new plants that will popping out in color. And uh, I told you I would show you how you just cut off. This is the ajuga I'm working on right now, and I'm cutting their seed heads off. The trailers will still um, give you the growth that you want. There's still a little mud from the flood, but that's okay. But I like to cut the blooms off, and these blooms do not go in my compost. So today I have a compost compostable bucket, and I have a bucket that the weeds and things that I don't want in my compost will go. I've gone ahead and done the rest of the um, ajuga, but there's still some in bloom, and I think it looks pretty. So it's that easy. Um, you just find the bloom, go down to where the bloom stops, and cut it off. And it just looks nicer. You can see where I've, how it makes this nice mat of nice leaves. And uh, in a week or two, that all just gets even more color to it. Once the sun comes out, we've had, which is a blessing, so much rain. Um, this is my non-compostable bucket, and this is my compostable bucket. But the rain has made everything double. We were just talking about that, how it has made all of these plants, these spring bloomers, the irises. When you get a lot of rain, we're in um, West Virginia, and May is always wet. But this has been a very wet May, which is good. The, you'll notice the willow tree before we get started with more trimming. The yellowing of the leaves can also can be caused from all of the moisture we're getting right now. And you always have a leaf drop with the, your willow. But this willow, we've been here 29 years. And we know that by the 1st of June or the third week of June, um, the leaf drop stops. And uh, so for us, it's, it has to be due to the extra uh, moisture. But today, I'm trimming up our creeping flocks. And I told you I'd show you how easy it is to take a chunk and put it anywhere you want. It's not complicated. And let's just go ahead and show you that. First of all, I like to groom mine. Let me just show you how easy it is <laughs> to put this in the ground. All of this, you can see the... Um, underneath side of this is a lot of root system. So we're going to take a chunk. Let's take this chunk right here. It needs to be trimmed back. I'll show you first how I will plant this in the ground. My neighbor, who has taught me so many things from the diaper to how to get rid of clover in the yard, you're going to take this root and dig a hole. This soil over here that? I did twist it. I just twisted it so the roots are all together. And I'm going to stick this clump right here. These are daylilies. And I want some creeping flocks coming over this rock. And this soil's been amended. I'm not adding anything more. I put a piece in already. I got too close to that. But you're going to put this in the soil. And this soil is really wet because we've had tons of rain. Stick that clump right in there, cover it up with dirt. I mean, if you wanted to add a root growth stimulator, go ahead. I have that in my supplies, but not down here. I'm not going back up there to get it. This is the first clump I put in here, so I'm going to put it back in. And uh, that's how all of my starts began, by taking a piece. I didn't buy a pot of this. This is all starts from Mary's yard. So I put that right there. It is going to be kept nice. No, if it was going to be um, really hot for the next week and no rain, I would give this a drink of water. But, you know, we're going to have maybe two dry days, then rain, 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 two dry days and no 90 degree weather. So that is how you take a start from your creeping flocks and get another start. Now, this is how I groom mine because this is all about grooming today. And I will put this in my compost. Um, so I'm going to cut back a little bit away from my daylilies here. You don't have to be real gentle. This is my compostable stuff. And anything that's laying on my rock wall, I mean the rock pathway, I like to groom it up a little bit. It just looks, I like to see the stones. 
because look how this is clear out in the rock and I don't want it getting into this rock. And of course, when I'm down here, if there's a weed, it's been raining for several days. You, when you're out in your garden, weed, groom, make it all happen at one time. So you can see that's laying there and it looks pretty when it's in bloom. Now that's not blooming, I take it up. Same thing right in here where it's creeping in. I'm going to take that out. If you live close, you're welcome to come over and I'll, I'll give you some. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's wonderful to have a videographer who's watching what I'm doing. Let's switch sides. So it is just like that. It's like any kind of a haircut. Clean it up. And any weeds, because you can see it's hiding the weeds, which is a, only bothers me. No one else. Is there a rock wall under there? There is a walk, rock wall under there. <laughs> <laughs> But it looks so nice. You can't beat creeping flocks if you have any kind of stone. I I know I could put it up there. There's a little tuft of it there. Yeah. I you know, you look around, you can always add stuff. Maybe I'll do that today off off camera. Add a little more reg to that spot. So we're gonna work our way around. And this is this is all I'm gonna do this to all my clumps today it's a good day to do it it's cool in temperatures i can't believe we had 90 degrees over the weekend and here we are back to 55 and 60s and it's west virginia you gotta love wild wonderful do they call us wild wonderful west virginia yeah, still yeah, yeah. i love it come visit people let's get this out of here see i don't want I love it, but I don't want it creeping into, see, look, that would be a nice little start. I may. All right. And I do have, I don't remember the names of my day lilies, so I keep them named. Well, have some, really. I have quite a few, which I love, and I want to know their names. That'll get planted. This, so this is as easy as it gets for beginner gardeners or experienced gardeners who didn't know how easy it was to transplant your flocks. It is that easy. And so, doesn't that look neater already? It does. It just looks kept. I want it groomed from my own, yeah. And it's always important to stand back and admire your work but I like it groomed up. So every part, now up along the house, I want it to spread out a little more. And when we do our, a little, we need to do a tour here soon. I'll show you how I like the ones around the house to look. I want them to take over a little more spot, but that just looks to me so much nicer. So that is, those are two spring groomers that we've done. So let's go over here. And I can't get rid of this weed at all. It came in a flood years ago, but once it gets tall enough, I just pull it out. Let's go over here and I'll show you how we're going to clean up the irises. They were beautiful, but they've had their fun in the sun. The other thing I'm doing today too, and this is going to be hard for all of us to watch, but these are my lily put zinnias and they look gorgeous. But in order to get more branching, I need to cut this bloom. You can see how we're going clear down where this bloom comes up, go down to the center and you're going to take that right off. Right. Same here. And this, it hurts. I'll put these little blooms in a vase. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this one, even though 
And now what's going to happen, you're going to get branching. For This has a little bud. I'm taking it off, too. You're going to get branching. We want branching all over these lily puts. I'm going to leave those flowers here because I want to put them in a little vase. So you want to do your lily puts or all your zinnias need to be pinched back. My snapdragons aren't at a point. When I get ready to show you, um, I'll be doing an update on the cut flower garden and I'll show you how we pinch those back. The, what we're doing today though, I'm going to show you how we're going to groom up the spent iris stems. And this is pretty easy too. Uh, once your iris has full blo through blooming, there's still one here, and I'm not going to show you on this one, but you take the stem clear down to where it comes from the leaf. You cut that off, and that goes in a compost. What doesn't go in the compost, with all the rain, same thing with irises. You will notice they start yellowing. There's probably slugs. I don't have any slug bait out. Um, there could be. Have but you seen slugs? I haven't seen any yet. Okay. But this does not go in the compost. Anything that looks diseased does not go in the compost. And look how easy these little uh, violets are coming out today, too. I fight them. Every gardener, if you've been gardening for a while, these little violets will you'll fight forever once you have them. But they're decreasing. So see, I can go in here. That leaf came all the way off so much rain and then I will go through you can see behind Reg there's a couple more irises and uh, let me go ahead and I'm gonna take the stick out with this one I know I know take the stick out with it <laughs> no, that and the compost? string the stick and the string no, no that. the stem yeah. yeah the stem goes in the compost Gotcha. Yeah, the stem, that's my, yeah. yeah, the stem goes in compost. Anything that looks diseased doesn't. Let me go ahead while I'm here. Stem and the blooms goes in the compost. And what you, with blooms too, when you still have a bloom and there's some dead ones, you can just cut those back to a spot that makes the stem look prettier. This one's already been done. Now the big job today, so we've gotten the irises. I showed you what to do with the, the yellowing of the iris plant. We're going to do lamb's ear. There is a, this is the uh, Stachyus Byzantina. Now there is a Stachyus called Byzantina Big Ears or Helen von Stein, which the leaves are bigger, has fewer of these, uh, blooms which aren't that attractive and I don't like them because they will flop and I like the Stachys Byzantina for the gray foliage and how it looks in the front of the border and if I ever you know I don't go looking for the Helen von Stein but I probably could find it and take this out and put it in but I'm not that picky but let me show you how easy this is to do a lot of times I'll keep like this small little start of a bloom just for texture and dimension left. Same here. When I come in back here, I take that down. And you go down sometimes to just a leaf. It'll look bare for a while. And then weed as you go. You get all these little weeds, which... The neighbors used to pay a dollar an hour to weed their flower beds. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's not a hard job, but it just looks so much better when it's done. You can see that little patch. Within, you'll be surprised once these blooms are taken off, Within a couple weeks, this all fills in with more of your lamb's ear. And that nice carpet just accents the heuchera. And I mean, take a look at the, I can't even think of the name. Dad, go on it.
No. I'll think of it before it's over. <laughs> Shoot, Reginald. Um, Don't blame me. Blame the cat. I know. Those beautiful, beautiful big old blooms of something. Those are ones to help out. I know, Mo. So we're going to get these all cleaned up, Mo. And I'm going to leave that one, too. So this is how we do the lamb's ear. And this, this is probably, it may get a few blooms back in the summer, uh, but you'll never get this flush of blooms like you do in the spring. And the mat will get even thicker. And you'll see that in some of our videos. So I will continue on with this today. That's as easy as it gets. The biggest thing is weed while you're down here. Um, it'll make you happy when you stand back. So we've got the irises. We have the um, zinnias. We have the lamb's ear. Is that all I was going to show you today? I think it was. That's how easy it is to groom your garden up. And then I am going to rake all these leaves up and they will go in the compost. But um, that's it for today on Gardening on the West Fork. Spring grooming the garden. And look what is out there to bloom yet. I'm just thrilled. Did you get a picture of the rose over here on the fence? How nice it looks. That's, uh, gosh, I tell you, I need to take some memory medicine. Uh, anyways, a pretty pink bloom, and I'll put it in the description for you guys, uh, what I'm trying to remember today. But that's it. So thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. Bye.